While the concept of robots is futuristic itself, inventors and scientists have been taking even more extensive steps to making their creations even more realistic and practical. And they're finding a whole multitude of uses for robots to be integrated into the real world. A development that has left many asking whether robots will one day take over some of the jobs we hold today. But what are those robots doing in reality? Heavy manual tasks in factories, such as car building, are commonplace for robotic arms, but now robots are being designed to undertake some of the more human-driven jobs. Just like this invention from the Bubble Lab team in Beijing that tasks a robot to make coffee. The two robotic arms can complete all parts of the process, from grinding coffee beans to artistic latte art, a skill usually reserved for a trained barista. But director Jackie Sai explains that the robot isn't about replacing the barista altogether. The main reason is uh, we want to relieve uh, barista because we see a lot of coffee shop and the barista is always making the coffee, but never have chance to communicate with customers. And if a robot making you a coffee wasn't enough, how about going to an entirely robot-made restaurant? This is Food Inc, where everything from the furniture, the crockery, and yes, even the food is made using a 3D printer. 3D printing technology has been making advances in recent years, with firms being able to make plastic toys and components relatively easily. And even though printing actual food is a fairly new concept, it seems the outcome is pretty impressive. Regular food is turned into a paste or puree in a blender and then placed into cartridges to be printed out with expert precision. This means, ultimately, that machines could one day provide you with seemingly endless possibilities of meals. But while a lot of people could benefit from these new ways to create food and drinks, the future of robotics is also forecasted to perform potentially life-saving tasks. The robotic arms are currently used primarily in factories, could one day be transported into other important professions. And if NASA gets its way, robots could be our pioneers for future colonization on Mars. The space agency has developed four humanoids called Valkyrie to operate the initial setup of camps on the Red Planet before astronauts arrive. Standing at six feet tall, weighing 300 pounds and costing around $2 million each, these robots serve an important purpose and making sure lessons can be learned ahead of humans arriving. And there are other robots out there that aim to work in harmony alongside humans in everyday life. Meet the R1A robotic butler created by the Italian Institute of Technology in Genoa. Right now, the R1 is capable of picking up an item and handing it to a human via remote control. But the developers say apps will be added to the humanoid to enable it to understand voice commands, give news alerts, and help with tasks around the home. The ultimate aim for the team of scientists is to create a personal assistant that is both cheaper and more accessible for the general public. And at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas earlier this year, many companies were keen to show off their robotic contributions to society. For example, this toy robot from Laker focuses on helping those with medical conditions or specialist care such as autism. Co-founder of Laker, Marine Kuto, explains why using robotics for this purpose is a good fit. Robotics is very interesting for autism because it's stable, it shows less information, and the child can interact uh, easily with it. So it's a, a, a mediator between the child and the caregiver, 
So it's a tool for the caregiver and a game for the child. Other inventions on show included a robotic helper for collecting loose tennis balls, one for tracking your physical activity, and even ones that will dance along with you. But according to Chris Matthews from Mayfield Robotics, the ultimate goal is creating a robot that will become part of the family. And his invention, Curie, could do just that. There's a chest light here that helps him express his emotions, and this is a big part with, with Curry of really getting the personality into the product so that we don't, we don't lose sight that we're bringing a spark of life into someone's home. And getting that personal connection with the machine may just be the key to the development of more advanced robotics. As the field continues to transform, with the introduction of machine learning and artificial intelligence, robots look set to play an increasingly more important role in business and personal life. But while there has already been some significant steps taken in robotic technology, it seems robots themselves haven't quite taken the place of us humans yet.